Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wraith the World First Daily Recaps. I'm your host Acerik, and I'll be taking you through the discussion of everything happening in today's Narabar Palace Wraith the World First. And on the agenda is spiders. Lots and lots of spiders. First up, in the world of Kaiveza Craft, two more guilds have finally taken her down. Congratulations to Zhishen Hong and Zbox for World 5th and 6th respectively. And as for World 7th, the leading guilds for that title are currently End Myth, Instant Dollars, and Fat Shark Yes. But as for Zhishen Hong and Zbox, they headed immediately into Silken Court progression, and it looks like they've already made some considerable progress. Meanwhile, with Hwao Gao Hero, they actually had the best performance so far when it comes to Nexus Princess Kaiveza re-clear kills, defeating her in only 9 pulls versus Liquid's 12, Method's 33, and Echo's 39 pulls. Now, shockingly, Kaiveza is such a difficult wall boss at the moment that Liquid's re-clear kill was actually World 5th overall, with Method and Echo bringing in World 6th and World 7th respectively, so we're pretty excited to actually add a fresh kill to the leaderboard. Now, following some very efficient reclear and a few hours of progression, we are super excited to congratulate Hwao Gao Hero on their world fourth Silken Court kill. This means we now have four guilds currently progressing on Queen Onsarek, and Hwao Gao currently have the highest overall item level and have been speeding through their Queen Onsarek progression. This means that this is, without a doubt, now a four-way race to world first. Now, yesterday was Echo's first full day of Queen Onsarek progression, and they spent most of the day perfecting their movement in Phase 1 and learning the intermission with a little help from Alex's happy little portal diagrams. Nice. Yeah, there are no thoughts. Oh, yep, there you go. You go cute. through to the other side over there. They got, it's got and a that headset will, on now. And that will make it so that... <laughs> now it's smiling. <laughs> Why have you ruined it? Now, the decision to move Bloodlust into Phase 2 actually helped them learn more about Phase 2 and even reach the second set of platforms. Now, interestingly, Echo did opt for a tank swap on their Queen Onsarek progression roster, opting for now to bring in his Protection Paladin, which brings Blessing of Freedom to help with the web roots in Phase 1, as well as Bubble Taunt to help negate some of the massive tank buster damage that goes on throughout the phase. Now, it seems like the tank swap was a wise choice, because Echo had a major breakthrough later on in the raiding day, and they actually had their first Phase 3 pull, which was good enough to put them ahead of Liquid for a good while opted to go to bed early in order to preserve their sleep schedules, but we're excited to see them back in the raid today and hopefully tackling some phase 3 progression. Because of their wacky sleep schedules, thanks to their mad dash for a world third Silken Court the other day, Method got started a little later in the day, and once they woke up, their first order of business was of course to finish reclear, which means tackling Kaiveza and Silken Court. Now Kaiveza took them 23 pulls and Silken Court only took them 5, which means that overall their reclear was much more smooth and efficient than Echo's. Once their progression began in earnest, Method was able to very quickly see the first intermission, but unfortunately throughout the day they struggled with consistency and had very few pulls that enabled them to get all the way to phase 2. They did make it in the end, but we expect that today will be an uphill battle for Method in order to catch up to both Echo and Liquid. Now Liquid, on the other hand, had a great day of Queen Onsaret progression. While they did spend some of the morning stuck in messy P1 pulls, some post-launch clarity, and some good strategizing from Shakib and I'm fired up, Man, do you think we should do P2 if we make it out of P1? Or yeah. just go again? Do you wanna you do that and then don't forget you about the intermission? Talk about P3 later. Don't forget about the intermission. Kick them into high gear and allowed for much more consistent base twos. And at the end of the day, they hit an overall new best 55.3%, which was their first substantial phase three pull. Now, as Liquid started to become more and more comfortable with phase two, we saw more and more transitions cleanly into phase three. And they started to slowly, and I mean it slowly chip away at Queen Onsarek's health pool, and by the end of the day, they had a new best of 35.4%, and they cleanly got into phase three a total of 23 times. Dude, we had such a good day today. We made P3 with everyone alive 23 times. That is crazy. That is like insane. I think we only had three P3 pulls before today or something. Now, given that Liquid's casters think that this fight could very well take over 300 pulls before we see a kill, we expect the race to only heat up from here. Will Echo be able to lock in and take the kill from right underneath Liquid's noses? Or will Liquid's experience enable them to get to that kill faster than Echo? Or will Hwao Gao Hero come in and take the kill from both of our front-running guilds before they can even get a good start on their progression today? We cannot wait to see what happens. Now, we really hope to see you at raider.io slash rwf so that we can bring you all of the updates coming out of Narabar Palace today, because trust me, you do not want to miss this four-way sprint to the finish. Now, regardless of whether or not Queen Onsarek dies, I'll be back tomorrow to bring you all the big moments that happened during the race. 
So until then, I'm Acerik, and this has been the Race to World First Daily Recap, and we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully to celebrate our new Race to World First champions. Oh my goodness. I think he's better trained than Dretnos. That's right. Almost, wow. almost all dogs are. I've had a few accidents while I've been here, but only a few. Oh, word. Oh, word.